Yeah, Locust and Mental or Chamozi and Mental Hawk moving their entire both of their entire armies back to Mental Hawk's base and turtling up here in anticipation of further attacks. Um, Locust is not going to attack again, but rather re just uh, sit back with his ally at the um, southwest tower here, which Thera, by the way, is has significantly secured up with two siege tanks and a missile turret to prevent any scouting through via air units. But Locust right now absolutely unprepared for this uh, Banshee attack, which is coming right now. No pylon near that uh, that rock block off. Doesn't know this is coming, and he's uh, he's set to lose a lot of workers right now. Yeah, these um, these Banshees are quite a lot in number. Chamozi could have attacked earlier, but the attack wouldn't have been as devastating. Um, not sure whether or not it would have been beneficial to attack sooner, but. They're certainly just taking out all the probes here. Locust not having the foresight, not reacting in time to escape with any of those probes. Yeah, his army However, very now it's Stalker do serious damage to these Banshees. His army was very far away when they attacked the workers. Managed to get every single worker in that in that main. Unfortunately, does have a natural expansion. Um, Thera coming in there with a few scans and. Then Stalkers were able to do a good, uh, good uh, number, a uh, good amount of damage to the Banshees' ranks. Banshees taking out the uh, one of the two missile turrets here. That are Remaining out of range of the other one. That's the end for the Banshees' uh, missile turrets. For, uh, v Banshees and uh, missile turrets win this round. Yeah, missile turrets will win this round thanks to a little bit of repairing from the SCVs. Absolutely, very, very useful strategy uh, when you're down to your last one or two missile turrets. And it uh, looks like uh, red and blue, Terran and Protoss probably ready to uh, to gather their forces and attack. Uh, looks like Teal probably going to stop uh, producing Banshees yeah, right Teal, now. Teal had a tiny army at the Southern Gold expansion, completely out of position, and they just got owned by the siege tanks holding on that tower. Still two, banshees on, there. still two Banshees on the field. I uh, wonder if he's going to try to harass Thera, now putting a uh, a uh, neighborly uh, missile turret into the Protoss uh, Locus's base. Probably be able to take down uh, two or three Banshees along with these two Focon, Photon and Focon. Photon cannons that Loca, Locust is Yeah, uh, interesting is choice there by Thera. Uh, I guess he just did not have faith that his ally would put up those Photon cannons, which he immediately did afterwards. But it's always nice to help your your neighbor. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's not assume that that it was a lack of faith. I think it was just it was just uh, neighborly help, friendship, uh, what we call yeah. StarCraft friendship, uh, lending a hand. Or yeah, a no, this time, I, this time I can tell you for sure that um, the hesitation of these banshees um, was did cost Jamozi kills. Um, he's not going to be able to do any more damage with these banshees, at least not in Locust's main. Um, the, the sheer amount of tower defense in here is just going to be too much for these Banshees to handle. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think that Chamozi has pretty much given up on those Banshees. They're just, uh, oh, no, he is he is actually reinforcing those Banshees' numbers, so he is planning to do another More harass. But at this point, Locust um, decimating the workers at, uh, at Purple's main and uh, doing a quite significant amount of damage. Nothing really there to push these... Um, these uh, stalkers back. Chamozi now bringing in his uh, M and M's to try to push back Blue's attack, try to help out his uh, his uh, his purple brethren. Purple, meanwhile, um, at the uh, Zelnog Watchtower, not really coming back to save his own base. Just a little unusual, uh, leaving it up to Chamozi. Maybe he's a little bit mad about him, M mad at him for losing all those banshees. But uh, that's not very neighborly. Talking about neighborly, come on, Purple, help help yourself out. Uh, save <laughs> save your own house. You don't uh, you don't want your neighbor to do all the work. Yeah, well, I'm sure. I'm sure he thought Chamozi just had it under control. Um, Chamozi actually looks like this fusion core will just barely be saved by SCVs before burning down to the ground. Um, Mental Hawk is expected to create some battle cruisers any minute now. Yeah, I don't know how many minerals he'll be able to pump out uh, for that uh, battle cruiser uh, production. Got two coming out of one starport, so that's going to be a little bit slow. One just started training now, so I don't know if uh, if they'll come out in a timely fashion. But uh, an unbelievable amount of Thors right now for Red. We got nine Thors with two more on the way. I'm surprised that they're waiting uh, so long to yeah, attack. Yeah, battle cruiser is going to stand no chance against um, the superior AA of 
both Red and Blue's armies. Um, they have pretty much all AA, and going to air, not the best decision at this point. Battlecruisers are a very powerful unit, but, but the amount of anti-air these guys have is just phenomenal. Looks like Chamozi try gonna try to, a cheeky expansion down here in the uh, in the lower eastern corner with uh, hoping his banshees will protect it. But now a sensor tower almost finished for red, and he's gonna see these banshees right away. And maybe I'm thinking these uh, these uh, these banshees are not long for this world, and neither is this command center that is floating down here. I don't know if this is a great this is a great idea for Chamozi. Yeah, I expect that sensor tower will also see the giant command center coming into his. Um area. Um, do you know what the sensor tower like detects large buildings as opposed to, you know, as differentiated from units? Oh man, Banshee's just flying over the towers, not doing a damn thing, and just getting home. Completely ridiculous decision by Chimosi there. And now the rest of them are going to just quickly be destroyed by stalkers. Well, these Banshees are a huge waste, um, you know, having thought that he abandoned them. Uh, a little while ago, you know, I think that that would have been the best thing for him to do, but he kept building them. And to answer your question, uh, Baeus, uh, the, the sensor tower does not uh, does not detect buildings, but he does see a large gathering of uh, SCV type units going back and forth from the from the minerals to a, a, sp a spot uh, right near them. So he's got to he's got to think something's up over there. Uh, of course, Chamozi um, now building some Vikings. To um, not sure what they'll do. Uh, you know, red and blue between them. I don't know if they have a single air unit. Um, not that I can see, anyways. Now red oh, of course, the Void Rays. And now red pushing out without uh, blue. Maybe a little bit of a mistake. These Marauders are really going to chop down these Thors. A lot of minerals are being lost for red right now. He's probably going to lose this gold mineral expansion uh, as a result as well. This is a huge, huge uh, economic loss for red. It's always a poor decision to go one versus two. Um, always a good idea to stay with your ally in two v two game. Absolutely, you 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 viewers at home may or may not know, but uh, myself and Bayes are, are of course Diamond League two v twoers. We're pretty much uh, the best the best two v twoers in the land, and uh, we we know that. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'd say that. <laughs> But uh, absolutely, do not attack without your uh, your buddy. Do not attack without your neighbor. It's gonna it's gonna prove disastrous every single time. And here comes Blue, and, and Blue is now gonna attack by himself as well, trying to come to to Red's rescue. But it is too late, and he's gonna. Steve Shanks making use of this Zalnaga tower perfectly. And these stalkers are all going to go down. The army, com the army composition uh, of red and blue right now down to absolutely nothing. They had a huge, huge troop advantage had they attacked together, I believe. And now they're really, really up against it. Still mm -hmm. a couple Thors out here for red, but they're not going to do much damage by themselves. And uh, A few Vikings as well. A siege tank. Um, but yeah, mo bo all the armies have been cut down to, to nearly nothing. Um, and now teal and purple still have a couple... Way more units on the board. Now it seems like uh, Purple's slow, slow battlecruiser uh, production is actually paying off uh, with that kind of failed half-and-half -half attack for for Blue and Red. Those battlecruisers actually came in handy and uh, and and helped a great deal taking down those Thors. Yeah, Purple using one SCV to um, very slowly repair one of his battlecruisers at his natural expansion. And Mental Hawk has an orbital command center floating in Chamozi's base. Um, not sure what he's doing with that. It looks like you might have forgotten about it. Yeah, that was the, the command that was the command center from his main base and uh, you know, to be honest with you, he probably has completely forgotten about that. But then again, there isn't really um, much place for him to expand maybe uh, perhaps his uh, his other natural behind those uh, those uh, destroyable rocks and it seems as soon as I say that that's where he's going to float over that command center. I don't know how easily he's going to be able to protect that, but uh, I'm sure they're thinking after that major battle they won that they uh, that this is their time to kind of uh, exert some authority. But it looks like Thera uh, can anticipate yeah, Thera's that. Thera's going to deny that float over. Bringing his Thors and uh, a couple of siege tanks, and he's going to try to um, to make sure that this expansion doesn't happen. Meanwhile, Chamozi going for this uh, up. Uh, upper upper half uh, gold and mineral expansion, and he's going to try to, to main, mine that for as long as he can and get like a, a really good uh, economic advantage. 
Oh, and a mothership. The range of the Zelnaga Tower, though. A mothership now uh, being warped in, uh, being produced, sorry, by uh, by Locust, the Blue Protoss, and uh, it is now on the board. Mothership on the board. Gonna probably a bunch float. Of probes invisible. I love having buildings and probes invisible. It's hilarious. Mothership is just something. Another thing I just wish I would see more in this game.